It's Serpentor! Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Nino Kuni. Well, two on the Kaming's Let's Plays channel. Welcome back. Subscribe! This I command! And hit that bell to be notified. And hit the bell to be notified! No, 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 that's Skeletor. That's not oh. Serpentor. I don't know who's the. No. He laughs at your ignorance. You are next. <gasps> Wait. What does he sound like? Brine Skimmer. Of Hydropolis. He's the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> He's amused by Evan. Yeah. Chapter 5 The Sea Queen's Curse. Alrighty, so Serpentor is cooking up something evil. So I've been looking at some maps, and Capstan is south of Goldpaw, right? That's what a ma map would say, so... Aye! Aye! It be! And uh, we'd visit a swab by the name of All Right, so Master Puppy tells me. Right. Hmm! I do hope we can convince some good ship rights to join us! Aye, that they will, Evan lad. Uh, that they will. The best in the biz. This. Best in the biz. I like biz the best in the biz. It's best cute. in the biz. Yeah, that works. That, that, that totally works. I like how the guy said curse because it was like. It made curse not sound as evil. It's like curse. Ah, so we have to go to Capstan. And uh, I've actually done a little bit of exploring of Summerland because uh, I was doing some grinding. Oh no, the boss always calls in some top engineers from the Sky Pirate Council to help with the team. Wait, what are you guys talking Snake. about? You know, I've been wondering about those flying machines you guys ride. Uh, where do you get a hold of them? You don't steal them, right? Okay, so they're having a little conversation about Yes, stuff. we do steal them. I mean, they are pirates. We are pirates after all, Roland. Are you a pirate? Yeah, you're a pirate. You're, yeah. All right. Yeah. Now... Uh, we're gonna take our coffers, because, you know... So you've done some exploring? I have done some exploring, but I did my best not to progress the story, although I did some more side quests, or at least, uh, attempted them, because there's no way, guys and gals, I can show you all the side quests. There's over 150. It all depends. So, I mean, you will see me get villagers and people that, you know... I want every episode to be three hours long! No, the if we went and we did all the side quests, we're looking at over... Close to 200 episodes. Not happening. Wow. Just to do the story, because there's nine chapters, you're probably looking at about 40 episodes. It's going to be longer than uh, Sword Art Online was. But oh. this game is so much better than Fatal Bullet. So much better. One million times better. You people need to be watching it. It's better. I know. I don't know why. Come back. Yeah. Oh, anyway. This is one of... I, this is one of the best games we've done on this channel, like... In a while, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I have... This is one of my favorite games I've Oh, man. We don't have enough play. for any spell development. Well, since most people stop watching after, like, 15 episodes, then that wouldn't bode very well, well for our channel to do 200 episodes. No. So, I mean, we're gonna... I'm gonna try to... Uh, the best way that I can do that, I notice that a lot of the bosses that you meet around, like, level 30, level 35... So if I can get my character up to, like, a level 40 or 50, then we should be able to clear a lot of the story stuff, like, much faster than most people. Oh, okay. And there's actually some really great grinding spots that I'll describe to you guys later once we get our boat. Because cool. there's some pretty cool enemies that are yeah. over level. Awesome. OP. OP. All right, let's do some research, because we're going to be recording a little bit today. Mm. I think we should, like, I don't know, I noticed there was a video on YouTube I was watching on someone else's channel where they congratulated people for making it to the end of the video. They're like, great job getting to the end of this video. Most people don't make it here. So you should be proud of yourself. You watched the whole video. Yeah. Like, I should give someone a pat on the back for that. All right, so we completed some research. Yeah, we should do that. More might. Okay, so now our characters are a little bit stronger. Both are military, like, uh, skirmishes and Evan himself and uh, later on in the series I'm going to teach you guys how to utilize that weird tablet thing that Lofty gave you because that's really important to get additional experience in battle to gain uh, more defense more might 
and uh, more um, rare item drops. It's a very important thing that uh, I'm... It's kind of confusing, so I don't want to waste an episode uh, talking about it right now. I might make a, a little video later describing it, but I haven't decided yet. It needs to be its own video because that tablet of Lofties is kind of confusing. Ah, uh, I... But I know how to use it. <laughs> I just love your Lofty voice. It's I just wait for it every episode. I think it's so cute. I like my Tree Yoda voice. I like that even better. Okay, so... In order to get to the Summerlands, we have to go back to Goldpaw and make our way to where that yellow diamond is. So you're going to see that most of the map is opened up because I've literally explored all this area of the Summerland and Ooh. fought as many monsters as I could because we're like a level 27 now. So, all right. Nice. Yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. Plus, we get to hear some of that beautiful overworld music. Which just, I want to wake up to this. Yeah, the string orchestra. Just so. makes me so happy. I, I don't know what it is. It's like you hear yeah. this overworld theme and it's just like, bam. It's awesome that games are kind of keeping orchestras alive, though. Oh, yeah. Because orchestras, as I remember in school, because I played an orchestra in school, my teachers would say that orchestras actually have to have donators, Patreon people now, because basically like Patreon, they have to have people that support them because orchestras can't actually make money anymore because nobody goes to the symphony anymore. Nope. People have so many other things to do. Uh, so that's well, why companies they... like Video Game Live and stuff, they do really well. They tour the country, you know, uh, playing video game music and people come in drones to watch. Yeah, them. if it's something like that, that's really awesome that, you know, it's keeping kind of modern orchestra stuff alive, having the gaming Oops. industry doing that. I yep. like that because I'm a violin player, so that makes me happy. We're actually closer to New York City. Well... I mean, if three hours is close. So, yeah. So next time that gaming orchestra comes into uh, the city, we should go see it. One of them. So if, yeah, I mean, like, if you know old people that are like, ah, games don't do anything for anyone. Well, they support uh, symphony players, yep. orchestra people. A lot. I would say that once movies started to utilize more of um, orchestras, like after Star Wars, that's when orchestras around the world started to do a lot better. Because yeah. they did a lot of film scores after Star Wars. There were still some um, directors that decided to use um, actual orchestrated things, but it was very limited, and then Star Wars kind of brought back that you know, old school sound, yeah. but made it like better. Well, even, uh, that's why I remember, well, because I'm a big Star Wars fan, I remember George Lucas being in interviewed and saying when he was writing the script... For Star Wars, he would be listening to different big classical pieces of music, and that's what he imagined the movie going to. That's why he hired John Williams to try to make it sound like that. And yeah, and that that really did bring it back. John Williams, well, he he was like classically trained in Italy, though. That guy was like, he's one of the most well-trained movie. Uh, oh yeah, without composers. a doubt. I really like the guy who worked with uh, Hans Zimmer on. The Dark Knight, right? Uh, though I can't remember the other guy's name, though. The guy who worked with Hans Zimmer, I can't remember the other. Guy's I've name. made videos on him before, but I, I can't. really like his, his uh, yeah, composing style, and uh, obviously Danny Elfman. Hmm. Okay. Watch your so this area here uh, in the Summerland, if you're like around a level twenty, most of the enemies in here are between twenty-two to about thirty. And it's kind of a good spot to hang out, uh, especially once you mess with that, like, tablet of lofties. Because yeah. you can increase, like, certain abilities and make your character much stronger. You can also get these yellow orbs to drop more often, cool. which increases your attack, your defense, and it makes you pretty OP. Roland is looking awesome today. Yeah, he is. He's pretty rad. I wonder what's going to happen when he's... Well, I guess he's going to live here for the rest of his life. Well, there's nine chapters in this game. We're on chapter five now. I mean, does he ever want to go back to where he was from? Or mm. do you think he's just... Or he kind of like... He doesn't get that choice. Remember how I told you there's some animes where somebody gets um, destroyed in one world and they end up being reborn in another? Oh. If you look at Roland, he's not the same age as he was when that explosion happened. Yeah. So he was basically reborn in this world. 
Wow. It's like you got a second chance at life. Or yeah. Something. I mean, it's very common in a lot of animes now, and I, I actually like that anime trend. We'll be seeing it probably for another two years in anime and manga, and then it'll kind of die down again. But uh, this year, especially 2018, there's a lot of those shows. There was one that came out um, in December and ran until about March. It was really good. So, uh, although it has a weird name, it's called Death March, but yeah. it's actually a pretty exciting slash battle anime slash um, rom-com. And so, then there's uh, another show coming out in the summer, and then you have the new SAO season that is also technically being transported to another world. Yeah. So you should have, you know, uh, bitten the dust, or you did bit bite the dust in the last world, and then you get transported into an alternate reality or another mm -hmm. world or whatever. Another world, yep. Yep. Usually a little bit different than our own. I mean, magic is a big aspect of it, you know, along animal. with... There's animal people and everything. Yeah, it can be a fantasy world or it could be like a future place that you could be transported to. It all depends, it, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, for the animes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Most of them end up in a fantasy world that's very medieval in nature with a lot of, like, animal characters and magic mm. and, you know, sometimes sci-fi elements. One kid got transported to another world, which was a beautiful anime. Uh, he was a little... He was a programmer or something, mm -hmm. and something happened to him, and he just, like, you know, was gone in our world. I think he got hit by a car or something, and he was reborn in this other world, like, literally reborn, like, as a child. He grew up, but he still had all those passions. He was a um, video game designer, and a brilliant one. Like, oh, he, right, yeah, you were telling me about yeah, that. Yeah, he made all kinds of games and stuff like that, but his big passion was he loved Gundam, and he loved uh. robots, so he found a way to incorporate his love of anime and robots and create essentially like night gundams in this world and they protected the kingdom and he brought back like all that sci-fi knowledge and he alone progressed society into what anime was he watched as a kid like flying gundams and you know all this weird technology and stuff wow yeah it was a really cool anime it's not really a comedy um some parts of it are kind of dark but the fact that it's a little kid and after he's 12 years old piloting his very own really awesome looking Gundam that can fly. Oh, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to take down a Tainted. This one's a level 31, so he's a little bit stronger than us, but we should be able to take him down. That guy looks tainted. Yeah, he is tainted, but you get a lot of really cool rewards for taking them down, so we're level 27 and 28. Alright, it's important that we saved because we could die here, and then we'd have to do everything all over again. So, this guy's a little bit stronger than us, but... If we take this tainted one down, not only do we get um, toward a really awesome achievement in the game, but we could also get some really awesome rare sword or um, clothes or some type of item drop. Oh, okay. But he's probably going to wipe out most of our people. But then again, I also have a lot of really strong leveled up um, Higglides, so keep that in mind. <laughs> little Pikmin. Yeah, totally. A little Pikmin, exactly. Yeah, does it- is it weird that the world map reminds me of Final Fantasy characters all chibi and cute? Yeah, that's kind of what they're doing. I guess that's a lot of RPGs are like that. I just Oops. don't- I haven't- we haven't had time to play a lot of them. No. I don't play tons of them. No, we don't- we don't play a lot of them. I mean, uh, usually we shy away from a lot of RPGs, but... It's it's because people stop watching after a certain amount of episodes. Usually after about six episodes, you it dies down. Some episodes of RPGs, we've been lucky and we've gotten like 100,000 views. Other times, not so lucky, about 10 or 20. And then every episode after that, it just drops down to about 1,000. Because yeah. people just... I don't know. Well, they... It's a commitment. Yeah, they want to watch the whole series, but if it's going to be 100, they can't really commit to a 100 episode series. But I'm just letting people know, like, there's really nothing coming out in April. And uh, we're going to have to, like, either play some indie games or we're going to have to throw something up here along with our Power Ranger coverage. Where we usually look at, like, a new Ranger at least, I would say twice a month, something like that. Yeah. Uh, ah, dude, we're the only one left. This is bad. 
I think I bought off more than I can chew here. Roland I mean, can take him. He's almost done. Roland can take him. Roland's gonna try. Roland's awesome. He's got a cool pistol. And wait for it. Nice. Nope, it's still alive. Man, the sky looks pretty weird. Yeah, oh. these are tainted. These are like super strong versions of regular enemies. Oh. But like I said, if you can beat them, the rewards you get... Oh, it's over. There we go. Roland's going Super Saiyan right there. Only Tani leveled up, though. That's not great. Yata! Yeah, he totally went Super Saiyan. See, there we go. Obtained Merciless um, Castle Masher or whatever. So, uh, Batu got a really awesome hammer from defeating that monster. Cool. And that hammer will probably be, like, in an item shop, like, much later in the game. But now, early in the game, like, you know, heading toward the ship area, he has a more powerful mallet, which is going to be awesome in combat. So, cool. let's actually equip that for him. Uh, so he was using that. Merciless Cashel Crusher. Look at that. Look at that. 190. That is an awesome hammer. Boom. So, now Batu is a lot stronger. Even though he doesn't have, like, a lot of defensive abilities, his offensive skills is mm. just, like, wicked impressive. But, uh, let's bring in... Let's change up our leadership a little bit, too, like, as we move on, because... Um, I'm sure people are going to want to see other characters, and I'm going to do my best to swap them out. I just want to tell you guys, even though characters can gain levels and stuff like that, I personally, when I play RPGs, I always have a set team of people that I want to have and yeah. use, because sometimes it's pretty foolish to change the characters that you're using. Yeah, then you have to spend the whole time leveling up the new people Correct. again. Capstan upon hull. And this is the ship area. I said shipwreck area, but this is like a, a ship port place where they build ships and stuff like that. And apparently Evan is the uh, character that we have to use in this area. Oh, this scheme is so peaceful. I know, isn't it? Okay, so let's Gosh. activate this uh, point here for fast travel. Mm, fast travel point. And it looks like... Yeah, I don't know why, but here. I want an Evan doll. <laughs> you might be able to get one from Japan. I'll look for you. Maybe yeah. a statue. Oh, old man. Hmm? Yes? Uh, you'll be this uh, King Evan old uh, puppy told us to expect, eh? Huh. I'm old. Hmm. Hello. Y yes, that's me. It's a beautiful game, though. Ooh. Well, ye are a bit uh, shorter than I were imagining, but nice to meet you, your majesty. You have a bow on your head. Quiet. My name's Wright. I am a gaffer around these parts. Gaffer? Yeah. To gaffer? I, I don't know. know. Puppy told me that you were after, but I'm not best fixed to help you just now, if I'm honest. Oh, really? Has something happened? Solve their problems, Prince Evan. King Evan, dang it. Oh, I. I, uh, you could say that. It were a few days back now. A load of us boats were out fishing when a monster showed up and smashed a lot of them to bits. Oof. A bunch of the young'uns Ugh. went out a looking to snicker sneeze the thing, but the poor blokes haven't been seen since. I'm going to use that word snicker sneeze. I know. I added mine to go out after the reckless uh, wallies myself, but I'd only get wallowed. Walloped. Okay. Uh huh. Hmm. So that's where everybody went. Hi. Hey, Evan. If we help them out, they'll owe us a favor, won't they? Yes. Yes. And besides, we can't very well leave them to their fate. Mr. Wright, we'll go and see what happened to the other villagers. Oh! 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 oh really? You do that? Well, go on then. If not, uh, turn down an offer and for your help. Thank ye. Uh, the horrible thing lives in the old shrine down the coast. I only hope the lads are all right. I, at least I think that's what he said. But ye smash them boats up like they were n newt? N uh, note? I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to... See shanty speech. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's uh, check out and see what the blacksmith sells here. Hey, oh. Okay, let's... Uh, what type of weapons can people get at this point in the game? 
Probably the stuff I have is much better. So no weapons. He just it's, has... It's really cool they put their accents in the game, though. Oh, yeah. Of course. Okay, so we need more Sora Way because we're kind of running out of those. There we go. Now we got 46. And the Sora Ways are, you know, HP stuff. Mm-hmm. What'll it be? Yeah. Come back again. Actually, a lot of college kids love RPGs and people in high school, usually. It's, it's about that. It used to be that age demograph when I was that age. Um, those were all the kids that, especially because it was like a more mature experience than uh, a lot of the other like action platformers, shooters, and stuff like that. It was more story driven, uh, usually, you know, really well orchestrated or not necessarily orchestrated music. That didn't really become a full thing in gaming until I would probably say the early 2000s. There were yeah. some games that had some orchestral pieces for cutscenes. Well, that was very expensive, and Final Fantasy was one of the only games to do that. Well, that one Final Fantasy game that they redid that you really wanted me to look at, like Final Fantasy IV or something, mm -hmm. it had the older version, and then it had the newer version with mm -hmm. the orchestra and stuff. Yep, they added the orchestra for the remake. Yep, we have it. It's, uh... Yeah, around... you got it for I got me. it for you, yeah. I was thinking about, like, playing it or something. Mm -hmm. Anytime you want. You've got lots of 3DSs here. And we have the 2DS yeah, somewhere. I like the story of that one. It's because you're cute. You like uh, Cecil and uh, Rose. Mm, if I yeah. remember it correctly, I, I think the girlfriend's name is Rose. Man, and right after you come out, you're greeted with this fantastic score. We need to find a way to update the music in the Jeep because I want to hear the Nino Kuni music now. We've been listening to the same stuff for like two or three years mm. in that car. I need to find a way to update it, but I don't think I have a card reader for my laptop. Leave this well, to me. If I had a second lifetime, I would just become an orchestra conductor. Hi. There's too much. There's too much to do in the world. It's like everything takes so much time. Can't really. You would be so down with that if I was an orchestra conductor. You'd probably go to my, like, I don't know, like mm -hmm. music performances and stuff. Oh, I would. If it was... I, I have a feeling that if this was like 100 years in the past or whatever, um, you probably would have been like one of the first female conductors or something like that. Ooh, you're so cute. And I would go to all your shows. Well, you took me to orchestra stuff when we were in uh, college together and stuff. Mm -hmm. I did do that. That was a fun date. So we're updating uh, Tani's uh, armaments, basically. Oh, Ogre's Bow. Ooh, she's got a dark bow, and there's also an ogre's bow. Uh, yeah. So what can we do for armor for her? But remember when we were really high up there, though? Mm -hmm. We had to look down. At that the... was terrifying. That was uh, Chicago, or was that mm -hmm. Boston? That was Chicago. That was Symphony okay. Orchestra. That was the Chicago one. So a lot of you are probably asking, like, how do you get different costumes in this game? There's a couple way to go about it that I found. Uh, one of the ways is you complete some quests. They're like side quests. And another way backs. is, which is kind of cheating, like later in the game, uh, you gain access to an airship. And it's kind of interesting that all over the world, on top of mountains, there lie these chests that sometimes are guarded by dragons, like that thing over there. Mm -hmm. Which I believe the dragon over here is like a level 50, so there's no way we can fight it. Yeah, that looks like a level 50 or 70, so we're not going to fight Whoa, him. Whoa, that dragon looks awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, they give you great rewards. It's really colorful. But once you get your airship, which is, I want to say, Chapter 7, um, I think, but... Like, on top of the mountains, they have these great chests, and inside them, there's all kinds this? of costumes. Each character has about four costumes. Cool. All right, level up. And if you guys can get to this point in the game, hey, what's up, Spider-Man4789, uh, and two others, thank you for following. Awesome. So you said every character has about four costumes? Mm-hmm. Okay. And there'll be DLC for this game as well. Like, I, I believe they're going to do costumes based on the first game. Just to kind of sucker people on nostalgia, but this game is completely different than the original. I mean, for one, it doesn't have as much voice acting, but also, I mean... It's just a completely different RPG experience. Yeah. I mean, this is more... The combat in this is... I love nothing. the combat in this. I will never get tired of playing this. I will be so sad when we're done with this game. And I can't wait to do the uh, DLC story when we get to that point, but... 
Usually, yes. Amber and I are playing this game like once a week, recording like, I don't know, maybe six episodes or something a sitting. It's just a really well-made game. Mm -hmm. Just every aspect of it is well-made. You get the map, the, the uh, kingdom building, and yep. Well, yeah, the kingdom building's a lot of fun. But, I mean, it's not something I would want to base the whole game around, because yeah. sometimes it gets a little tedious. Ooh! Let's do another one of these! You know, they actually have degrees in music now, just, uh... for the soundstage-like thing. Like, you learn how to do a soundstage and stuff. Yep. Like, for a movie or game. Now... People are probably wondering, why didn't you save before fighting Lily here? She's only a level 30, and oh, we don't have Batu in our party. Oops. So I don't get to utilize that awesome 190 Aww. weapon. Tani has kind of weak weapons at the moment. <laughs> My bad. We'll still beat this thing, no problem. Even if the kids end up dying, um, we can just like heal them afterwards. And I know, I hardly ever block. I need to do that more. But I just... I don't know. With Lilies, what makes them really easy to fight is their um, long-range ability. It's very easy to sidestep or roll out of the way. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's not really going to do that much damage towards you. So you can charge up your shots if you're playing as Roland or Evan, you know, to use his uh, magic ability. And Tani's kind of fun to play as. She uses, like, a, a three-hit bow. Yep. But her spear, even though it has a really cool combo, uh, her spear's all not that strong right now. We're just fine. Rolling to beat this fool. Very fool. See? Easily avoidable. Aha! So what were you saying before? Sorry to interrupt you. Oh no, I was just saying that um, some of the stuff... I mean, I'm not probably going to do it for a long time, but... I just looked at... They actually have degrees in music specifically for... Like, if you're recording uh, on a certain stage, like with the sound equipment for a game or a movie or something like that. And like, it's like specifically towards that. And it's kind of cool. But I... I don't know. I mean, that would be really cool, but I... Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just... It's like... I don't know, as things progress, they, like, have the degrees, like, tailored to that so people can do that more. It's like, I don't know, it's just Ooh. interesting. Also, I'm... Tenny. I'm working on some... I was really happy this week, I was working on my Zelda music with my teachers, so that was fun. Awesome. Uh, almost... Well, like I thought, we lost Connie and Evan, but we're gonna take her down. It's over. And again, if you guys are wondering, how in the world do I keep getting that ability? It's pretty simple. Like, mess with your, um, lofty tablet. Your battle ta- Tactics tablet, that's what it's called. Tactics tablet. Tactic tablet. Aye. That's hard to say. So all we got was some new shoes, which is kind of a bummer, but... Eh, that's yeah. okay. It helps. It, it has to be less expensive to just make the music electronic, though. Than having the whole... Oops. I don't know. I mean, a lot of Japanese companies... The past 10 years have used orchestrated pieces for their RPGs, which I love. That's amazing, mm -hmm. though. But you literally have to coordinate everyone's schedule, and they have to, like, you have to have everyone... I don't know, it's just... Like, they're literally sitting there. If they make a mistake, they have to do it over again. Like, that's... That's a lot of work. That's amazing, though. The music not, takes a little bit longer to do when it's orchestrated. Yeah. I think it, uh... A score of this magnitude for this game because it's much longer than a movie. Danny Elfman, the composer of Batman, said he worked on the Batman score, the first one, for about mm, eight weeks, something like that. Oh, wow. It was a pretty quick score. Uh, for a game this size, that could be like hundreds of hours, counting the side quests and all that other stuff. I mean, we already know for a fact that they repeat music in it, we hear it from time yeah. to time. I want to say maybe a year to do like all the music in this game and the cutscenes. I might yeah. be wrong. Maybe it's much faster because usually this is Bandai Namco. So, you know, they have some pretty big resources. Yeah, I think it sounds awesome. Yes! Leveled up again! I don't know why, but this game keeps reminding me of Howl's Moving Castle, but yeah. That's why, because some of the same people worked on it. Mm hmm. 
I believe the name, I might say it wrong, but Studio Ghibli, or Ghibli, one or the other. Okay, so we got some nice pickups there. Not a lot of Gilders, though, but I haven't really messed with my uh, um, Tactics tablet to do a lot of drops for money. Mine is utilizing rare drops for weapons, armor, and experience boosts. So that's why Roland and company is gaining levels much faster than probably you guys are. Because it will take you a very long time to grind levels if you're not utilizing your Tactics tablet. So make sure you mess with that. That way you can... It's kind of a, a godsend because you get a lot of experience fighting monsters than you would just by playing the game as a quote normal RPG. So you want to utilize as much as possible that the game has to offer to make your experience much easier and more enjoyable. Hmm, cool. That's just my two cents on it. All right, so we're in the Briny Shrine. I think this is a good stopping point for right now. This is cool looking. Yep. Yeah, we're going to stop here for today. All right, guys and gals, so that is going to do it for this episode. Amber and I are going to take a little break, but it won't really be any time for you guys. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified, and we'll be back with more Nino Kuni tomorrow here on K-Wings Let's Plays. God bless and happy gaming. See ya!